All right, hello, I'm LCP, or Tashik, as you can see. And uh, I will be talking about artwork and branding and UI and UX of OpenSUSE over the, the last two years, basically. Uh, and I think I should start from inviting you to join the team because we are missing a lot of people. Uh, it would be great if the team was larger and I would be glad to, to see some people joining the team uh, because we are doing great things. Uh, and to the extent of us doing great things, it's important to remember that we don't really take feedback through Twitter, but uh, it still helps us to to get uh, some well some feedback. Some feedback through Twitter is nice, but but there are better channels to 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 uh, to show to to request some some features, and. I mean, we also do memes when we have some uh, free time. Uh, so, uh, I, I mean, I welcome you to, to join us. From the stuff that we have done, this is a very short list, but I mean, uh, we did YAS icons, which you, you might have seen in, in Leap, in, in Tumbleweed. Uh, we, done, we have done a branding for the distributions over the uh, last uh, two years. And there is so much more that we have done, but I feel like contributions that, that really matter are the ones that are not really visible to everybody because you you get to appreciate them despite the fact that that you don't really know who made them it was the team that was that was us uh, and well from my um, maybe a little bit more personal point of view we have some things to discuss and those things are uh, logos, are colors, are things that uh, people asso associate with, with OpenSUSE and things that maybe aren't exactly the thing that, that they should be. Uh, maybe we should try to make them a little bit more uh, accessible, a little bit more interesting, a little bit different from, for example, SUSE logo, which is which is exactly the same as as Open SUSE logo, with the exception of of cut of feet. Uh, so currently, uh, we share the same logo, and uh, it's. It's probably not the best idea that uh, that we do because, uh, well, our branding is is very, uh, very much similar to to what to what Suze folks are doing, and it doesn't help us to have our own identity. It doesn't help us to have our own uh, marketing. Maybe it, it's it's. It very much dis disassociates us from uh, being separate, and we should maybe, fr from the point of view of, of actually being different entities, and well, we name ourselves different entities despite the fact that we are basically the same, but we are trying to be separate from the from the <laughs> uh, from Suze. And obviously, there is the point of, of Wikipedia having a uh, wrong logo, which has filled out I with white, which looks terrible on, on any other background than white. And I can change that because uh, I don't have access, and nobody has access because the guy that changed it 
uh, stop contributing to Wikipedia and, and then just just I, I, I can change it. Nobody can change it, it seems. So so maybe we can change logo for that reason. <laughs> All right, there is also topic of distribution logos. And here probably Tumbleweed is the biggest biggest issue because it's so wide that next to next to Leap it's really hard to make it work. As in uh it doesn't look like, like the logos belong together, which is an issue when you are trying to present them next to each other. Uh, they, they appear to be in, in different styles, and well, that, that might be some, uh, something that, that needs to be iterated upon, maybe changed in the future, something that, that needs, to, needs to change. And there are colors, and colors are, you know, you know our colors. They are, they are visible on, on, the, on the slide. There is dark blue, green, and a, a hint of, of the cyan on the bottom. Uh, distribution logos uh, use green for, uh, at least one, one distribution logo uses green for for its color, which makes it look next to OpenSUSE logo as default distribution, which is an issue when you are trying to present uh, Tumbleweed and Leap as, as things that are equal to one another. Maybe that, that also requires some, some thoughts from, from us, and there is a very limited palette. So uh, there is basically, I added, I added red and yellow last year i think and it's still barely enough to 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 actually create artwork that would be in in line with with what we want out of open source as in brand and uh, from what we actually can do because there is a limit to to the colors and and stuff Mm, this far, there were few ideas that appeared in, in different places. They are very simplistic and, and would probably help to, to show uh, the way, would allow to easy, easier show the, the brand the, compared to current, current ways. It, it, it's an interesting idea. I don't know if anybody likes it. So, so that will maybe require some, some discussion. Mm, obviously, you can also see that lip here is yellow instead of green, which is, uh, which I think is is a great color. Yellow is great, and uh, and certainly isn't green, which makes it look less default than it currently is, currently appears to be. And that logo was a happy accident. That second one was a happy accident of, of going through various stages of previous logo and then creating stuff that, that just kind of worked. There are obviously on the left there, there is depressed and, and, and very happy Giko. Uh, and th there is also uh, Pokeball Giko. There, there are a lot of a lot of weird ideas that that came through from from that, and uh, there there were some ideas for variants because current logo has very strict guidelines as to what colors can be used uh, in, in with, with it, and I feel like maybe we could create some some more interesting stuff out of this. There is obviously Fedora logo Giko and Red Hat logo Giko, just, just because I could. Uh, <laughs> the, there are, there are uh, different variants there. The, they are, I don't know if they are great. They are, they are a thing. Mm, and I think it's a better idea than, than having Giko always be green because communities want, want to express themselves in a way which, which would show show better who they are. So there are, for example, community, community logos, proposals for, for different countries on the bottom there, for Poland, Ukraine, and 
uh, Italy for some reason. I don't know. Uh, so feedback about that. There, there is an open issue on branding repo. And I would really love more feedback about all the all those things because I'm I mean it will it it if that goes through it will represent the whole uh, the whole community and I would love to hear what you think I can't do I can't do this alone <laughs> I just can't uh, so there are more issues related to uh, present uh, to presenting the brand from desktop side of things because you know we have wallpapers we have some in, uh, some splash screens for different software and it appears well it appeared before the presentation as X XFC was loading uh, there are those simple things that that maybe maybe are ignored but are very important from from my point of view from where I'm standing and. Uh, maybe, maybe currently we are thinking too modern. We are a little bit too far in advance to, to what OpenSUSE truly, uh, truly is. We have green and uh, we have very uh, specifically uh, chameleon, uh, chameleon as, as, the, as the logo. Maybe we could do something more natural, maybe something more uh, I don't know something that isn't ser isn't as modern as what we currently do with with architecture and with uh, mm, with li light bulbs and and stuff like that. Maybe there is a place uh, where uh, may m more natural things would work better with the things we currently have, which is green, blue, and and stuff like that. Uh, there is also an, an issue of merchandise, and it's a, it's a topic, certainly. Uh, we tend to focus heavily on logos, which is fine when you are trying to, to maybe spread awareness of the logo, but I think that maybe we should try to uh, be a little more creative, try to be a little more uh, interesting with with uh, how we present the brand outside of well outside of conferences outside of of websites etc. Uh, we want people to go up to to other people and ask, uh, "Wow, uh, what a nice T-shirt! Where did you get it?" And you can explain all the things you use open source and etc. If you if you so desire, if you don't, then you go. And don't tell them anything, and just say that it's it's a great T-shirt and and I like it. Mm. There is, all right, maybe you are part of part of part of things. Uh, there is obviously uh, th that's that's a list. It's not a complete list, but but it's certainly about the ast. <laughs> uh, and uh, well. I mean, if you ask Yazd guys about this, it's very clear that they would like to change that, but it's not like they they would like to change that. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, maybe start off here, but maybe not start from here, maybe start from actually cre creating mockups of things that should happen in Yast. And then when we, we are ready to, to have some, we, we, when we have some idea of what we exactly need, we should, uh, we should start cr uh, writing all that stuff in libyui and lib, lib -Y -U. <laughs> I can't. Uh, and then write all the stuff in Yast core and etc. And and uh, all this stuff needs to go through stages to actually be developed into something that can uh, happen and can be a thing in the in the future. So if you are interested, currently we don't have any place to to really put that stuff. But 
I was thinking about Trello board and, and creating some issues about about uh, specific uh, parts of Yast, and then then we have some mockups for for installer, but we certainly don't have mockups for the rest 70 other modules that exist in Yast, and I doubt we will be finished with that till the till the I don't know next year because it's a lot of stuff to do actually. Uh, so from this point of view, if you, if you are interested, let us know. We are on Discord, Matrix, IRC, open source artwork everywhere. Just let us know. Mm, and then there is landing page. And oh boy, <laughs> what a joy. Uh, I mean, um, I... I like the design, it's, it's great, but I don't think that, that content is necessarily what we should have there. Because we are looking at, uh, at very, uh, very, very distribution focused design which OpenSUSE open more than being uh, a distribution is a community of people. So uh, if we are community, it would be nice to actually mention that we are a community <laughs> somewhere on the page. Uh, so maybe, maybe instead of having all this, maybe we should use software opensource.org to actually show that we have distributions. And maybe on the main page just mention that, hey, you can go download them here, uh, redirect to this page. Maybe it's, it's a better idea. There is a lot of deduplication of, of the things that we are trying to sell between two sites and navigation structure is terrible on, on the main page because it redirects to only the stuff that is on the page itself. And I don't think that, I, I can scroll. I don't really need to, to have those things show up. I would like to, to see things that actually redirect me to, to something that isn't on the page, that is, is related to how OpenSUSE operates and, and how it works, but not necessarily what is uh, directly within the page. Mm, then we have list of tools, which is, uh, well, it's, it's not a long list, that's for sure. I'm certain that we are actually doing more stuff than, than four things. And maybe Wiki isn't the best place to, to put them all. There is certainly not enough space on on the screen too. But I think that having few categories about, about the, the things that we do is great, but maybe mention everything that we actually do because that stuff is useful and, and we are proud of it as a community. Maybe we could have those mentioned on the main page. Then, oh yeah, I mentioned all that. Uh, and news are great. I would say that, that news certainly deserve to be on the, uh, on the, on the main page, and I'm gl glad they, they are already there. So from, from this, uh, we do have stuff that, that we know will be on, on the page, but what is missing is certainly focus on the community, focus on the ways to contribute, focus uh, on developed projects. All of that is, is really, really missing from, from, the, from the main page. Mm, and then there is software.opensuse.org, which, which, well, it's, it's missing a lot of stuff about distributions as well, even though it is focused about distributions, around distributions. All that stuff is basically on wikis and it's hard to find and, and it's kind of, uh, maybe uh, not that well uh, executed in many cases. Maybe we should try to, to strive for better uh, explanation of, of our own distributions. Maybe we should sell them better. Maybe we have something that, that differenti di differentiates us from different distributions. I don't know. It's not written there. 
so yeah, that, that's that's basically it. <laughs> I don't have anything else prepared. I have a uh, nice screen, and that's it. Thank you. So now is the part where you ask me questions. I, 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 I don't know if I will have answers, but I, I would, will try to answer you. If you have any questions. So if you want to change the logo to have more of a clear uh, separate identity from Sousa, what about the name? So historically speaking, the, the logo itself is based on an old SUSE logo. Yes. They changed the yes, SUSE yes, logo yes, yes. and they didn't up update the open SUSE logo, which I mean, created disparity between the two and it only makes things worse, in my it's, opinion. It's not really, I mean, the change of the logo was basically only cutting off legs and that's it. Uh, yeah, mainly. The, You're right. Uh, mainly, mean, but not exactly. This is that's not exactly the truth, but it's close. It's, it's close enough from a normal yeah, user's perspective, yeah, that's what they course. see. But the fact and of the matter is, is that when that happened, that just weakened both brands, in my opinion. Yes, of course. Um, the idea of creating a different logo, in fact, I, I really like that work that you did. I saw yes, that. It's been around for a while, and it's been not, It's really good. Um, yeah. I agree with this young man saying that if you want separation, then go separation. I mean, so as long as we try to keep I, them close, similar, but different, yes. there's going to be a lot yes, of constraints yes. on that, and it's going to be really hard to push I, through. And then Suze has a vested interest in it as yes. well, then. If I, you change it, I hope so. that goes away. I hope so. I, I mean, I'm bound to, to, the, to the last part of the uh, if parenthesis. I'm bound to that. I, I'm not talking about that because I know that's way more controversial than, than logo itself. So I, I, will, I will ignore it. I want it to be controversial. <laughs> so let, let's go back to Yast. Um, uh, yes. Because you mentioned the partitioner, for instance. Yes. And that's one thing. So here's the interesting part of Yast, is that it's the one place where SUSE and OpenSUSE are directly connected. Because mm -hmm. SUSE certainly has a very long list of features, of yes. required yes, yes, yes. functionality, la 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 la, from product management that is really historically um, grown and probably not that transparent. So not everybody knows exactly why every feature is in Yes that's there. The partitioner is something that we haven't touched because of the complexity and because of that, those kind of issues I so mean, far. It, I, I was told that the reason why partition looks like it does is because uh, nobody cares to change it. It's too complex to change. It's be, it was based on some on, stuff on many, many, many years yes, ago. Yes, and, and, and building on top of this old, old thing is, is just making it worse. The fact of the matter is, is that you have Yast and the partitioner is a separate thing. So the well, partitioner itself in, in code is a separate thing. Well, and it, it uses a different QT. It's all... No, 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 no. That, that's, that's Packager which, which does that. Partitioner itself, partitioner itself is, is a module that is directly bound to, to right. Core Yast. Right. And, and Packager is a separate module that, that is built on top of the QT. package selection stuff too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I mean, partitioner shouldn't be as hard to change. Package, package, manager, package management I won't talk about because I know it's for Yast folks a controversial topic it's because a big country. I already, so already discussed that. Realistically speaking though, the package manager would be an easier thing to change from understanding users' needs than the partitioner would be. Yes, yes, of course. I mean, uh, the, the first thing that, that partitioner certainly needs is a menu bar because it's a lot of Yast modules need that. It's a feature that, that needs to be somewhere in the code. It is in the code, but only for Qt and only for wizard dialogs, which, which is installer and, and one clicky install, which wouldn't make sense for partitioner. Mm. So I'm not trying, I'm sorry. Uh, the last point on, on the yes thing was um, um, 
Go back to the screen. I forgot now what I was going to say. Uh, ah, the idea of creating mockups. So yes. Yast in and of itself, the way it works, um, being built on an old QT with yes, rah, 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 you can't just do whatever you want. Yes, right? I know. L um, that's why I said that that all the stuff will, would need to first go through uh, Libre UI and then go to uh, to the Yas Yas bindings and then go to other things and, and it's a complicated process, but creating stuff that is reusable and that that will will be will we will be able to reuse in, in multiple places will make it much better huh. which is which is why mockups make sense because because we can then just look what we can uh, simplify in multiple modules and and have it all make sense maybe again hopefully assuming that you have a full and clear picture of, of all of this it, 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 yes. any of this is yes. a full and clear picture of requirements. Yes, and that will be hard. So I just want to ask, um, so is this, would you say this is a big dream of yours? Like, it's good that you've done a lot of mo um, explorations with the logo. Is it more like something you're doing on the side or is it something you really want to action and push within the company? I mean, it was in discussions with the board, certainly. It's not like I'm hiding that. It's it's publicly show, shows up in multiple places, uh, and I doubt anybody haven't seen that. Obviously, somebody here won't won't have seen that. But but I hope that this is uh, th this this spreads and and gets maybe popular, uh, so so I can get it easier into into the <laughs> the, the distribution and. And what would you say your number one blocker is? What is stopping you from getting to the next uh, level? That's a good question. That's a good question. I have no idea, to be honest, because I think the biggest blocker is myself, uh -huh. because I I keep uh, I keep changing stuff and I keep adding adding stuff, and at some point when I stop doing that, I I will have clear picture that I want this and that, mm -hmm. and I doubt it will happen soon. Okay. Do you do you have a chief of marketing officer? Huh? Do you have a chief of marketing officer that you could collaborate with? I mean, not so much on the on the visuals, but more on the idea. Like, I mean, um, I don't really have have a contact direct direct contact right. with anybody like that. But that would be an interesting collaboration. Sure. Okay. But I, I that from your presentation it. Sounds like you're the guy to drive this. I, mean, I hope Absolutely. so. Absolutely. Yeah. I You've mean, convi I have, you convinced I, me. I haven't seen anybody else that, that would be crazy enough to change that. <laughs> yeah. Hi, thank you. Uh, so, uh, about the landing page, uh, I, I asked with Christian and, uh, and Brian. They said that uh, the landing page is now kind of not controlled by open source community, it's controlled by, by SUSE, so we cannot kind of change it. That, that's actually First off, I'm the head of the UI UX team at SUSE, <laughs> just for transparency. Um, it is not controlled by us, by us. I promise you, we don't want to control it. The fact of the matter is, is that whenever things are needed, we end up having to do it because no one else will. And, and uh, logistically speaking, um, it, it's, it's sitting in a data center in a server room where SUSE and OpenSUSE don't really have that much access. So, you know, it, it's, yeah. And Control is hard. <laughs> and to understand, so it might be interesting to understand the history of that page. Um, historically, it, it became what it became back a long time ago. Um, we came along and there was a request to change things. We took with, let's say, limited information, which is always the case at SUSE or OpenSUSE, with limited information, we tried to create a more marketing-like-ish page to sell OpenSUSE in the internets, right? That was the concept of that. Um, when requirements change, if there, there are many ideas of what could be on that page. There are many ideas of how to present it. Originally, our assumption is software 
yeah. is software yeah, 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 yeah. and the marketing page is the marketing page. So yeah. software is where you go find your packages. The marketing page is the marketing page. You can change that. You can do it differently. There's no, there's no law that says that. We don't define it as such. Mm -hmm. um, but again, understanding requirements is the first step. And, and understanding that, like really, like ask the whole community, get a good idea, have someone with a marketing concept, you know, create all this information first before you start changing things. That's my suggestion. And don't ever write code that you don't want to maintain yourself. That's what I've Just learned. Like create mockups first. <laughs> and one more thing is about the fonts. Now we have open signs on almost every pages. Uh, I think it, yeah, it's it's a good font, but people are just. Uh, getting bored by this font. Every web page uses the same font. If we want to be kind of, um, yeah, let, let, let users remember us, yeah. I mean, maybe we will introduce if some anybody wants fonts. to create a font, I'm not the guy, certainly. I can't. I, I mean, not create a font, maybe choose a, choose I mean, a more special I'm font. Not, I'm not <laughs> bored yet, maybe. <laughs> okay. But if anybody has better ideas, I'm, mm. I'm very happy to, to oblige. Yeah. Once you have a good idea of what you want your logo to look like, it is then much easier to come up with a special font that sits alongside and matches that logo well that can be used in special places. Yeah, and then after you, Andrew, right? So when after, yeah, sorry. The one thing that you have to take into consideration with fonts is glyph coverage, language coverage. Um, it's really, 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 I, now look me in the eye, really hard to make a font. It's literally something that you can do your whole life and then just get good at. Um, and you can spend many, many years with many, many people making fonts. So creating your own font is probably maybe a bit beyond scope, I would assume. People have tried and failed. Um, picking the best font for the most people is, I think, what the decisions were based on until now. I'm, I mean, that's the reason why we, we don't use fifth leg anymore. Because because coverage was very poor, and even in Polish, there wasn't really really a way to to display anything outside of very limited set of of stuff. So, I'm in agreement that the logo needs to change, and I actually like your mockups. I like them a lot. The question I have is, um, SUSE and Open SUSE have a strong symbiotic relationship, right? Um, and we need to ensure that that relationship continues. And we also need to advertise in one shape or another that relationship. Um, I, mean, I mean, example of Red Hat and Fedora comes to mind. It's not like that's dis disassoci disassociated entirely, but I think that and, and it's completely different colors, the completely different stuff, except for, obviously, Hat and Fedora. So I like, I like the fact that it's still a chame chameleon. For me, as long as it's a chameleon, there's an obvious association. And chameleons are wonderful creatures that can be many weird different colors. So I think as long as it's recognizable of some form of the same kind of animal, we have that cross-representation still, and for me, that's kind of enough. Let's make it pink, then. So, very honestly, this, this, this idea of Suze, Open Suze being close, branding-wise, but yet separate, is was a big mistake, if you ask me. So historically yes. speaking, that was a mistake. Tacking and open onto everything because we're trying to sell our open sourceness was historically a bad decision and should be changed, but you need, again, a strategy and understanding. Hashtag blame novel. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. I said me, that. Me neither. Um, yeah. And just to kind of follow up with, with Ken's thinking, I, I know you, wanted, you skipped over the name thing, but like, with the logo idea, with also something the board is going to be talking about at one o'clock in the main hall for the, the, the big board meeting today. Um, yeah, I, I do think maybe that needs to come up with it. And what I, what I like with your ideas is, yeah, like, you know, if we keep it to the chameleon, like, you know, like, like with Fedora Red Hat, you know, there's, 
you know, vis room for visual similarities, but you know, colors, naming. I, I, I'd, I'd like us to have everything on the table as we talk about this stuff. All right, that, that's your call. Yeah. I, I am not saying anything because I did suggest some, whoops, whoops. Uh, I did suggest some, some names, but they weren't great, to be honest. Yeah, and I, and I know this will end up being a massive discussion in the last yes. video, but at least it's my, at least yes. it's my fault now. <laughs> Thank you.